Happy Friday. Hey, everybody. I know I told y'all I wasn't going to uh, be on here early this morning because I had to go to the uh, the doctor. But things had changed. Some plans had came up. I had to cancel my appointment. So while I was uh, canceling my appointment, I just thought I'd get on here and talk to my people and stuff like them and see what y'all was doing and everything. And how was everything going? Well, uh, so look, y'all, check this out. I had sit there. I'm. I think I'm kind of feeling bad about it this right now because, as y'all know. My ex stayed with me, and he's here to help me, you know, because I can't really be in the house by myself. Uh, and so he's here to help me. So I kind of got really upset because um, I had to cancel my appointment because something came up right. So my ex knew I had to go to the doctor. So I told my ex, well, and see, this is how come I know I feel I be feeling some type of way about people. And this is how I know this is why I'm, I'm trying to push and, and progress on me getting well. So I asked my ex, my ex was talking about, well, he'll just leave the door unlocked, you know, but if anybody know out there, you know, like when you go to a doctor's appointment and the ambulance take you, transport you, they bring you back. You can't sit there and be in the house by yourself. Somebody got to be here when they bring you back. And my ex, he wouldn't do that. Now, this is what I don't understand, y'all. He had all week. You hear me? All week, all last week, all week before to go do what he had to do to pick up this, uh, pick up some item for, I can't tell y'all what it is, uh, from his friend. So it kind of like, it kind of like pissed me off. It kind of took me to a limit to where, I don't mean it pissed me off. It kind of got me angry. So it took me to a limit to where I feel like, don't nobody care about me. So, it took me to right there. And I feel like you're not even trying to see my point of view. And all I feel like is this. If you don't want to beat up for me, then don't beat up for me. Don't lie and say you're going to beat up for me. If you don't want to beat up for me and you just be in here for me because you need a place to stay, you don't have to do that. I still give you a place to stay. Because we got in a real, real big ball and I got mad and I said some things. I said, sometimes I I even hate I asked you to come over here. And y'all, when I said that, I, instant, I didn't say I'm sorry to him, but I said I'm sorry to God. Because I be preaching and, and, and talking about God so much. And I know God is not hate. And that's one word I shouldn't have said. And I had felt so bad when I said it. So, but I was just so angry, y'all. And then he was trying to help me take off my t-shirt. And y'all know this hand right here is folded and he had hit it. It's like everything that he do, he tried to rush to do it. And I asked him, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to punish me for something? What is it? Because y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. A week ago, he told me that he loved me and that he's still in love with me. I said, no, you're not. Because my friend here is, my friend is here from Atlanta and he got a crush on her. And I just told him, if you want to go, whatever you want to go do with him, go do it and just leave me alone. Get out my face. Because, y'all, it's almost like I don't really care. It's almost like I'm, I'm, I'm angry, y'all. I'm full of rage right now. 
because it it it, it, it brings me back to when you you used to hurt me before. And it bring me back to where I never knew why you were hurting me. Y'all, I I honestly, I honestly, y'all, it's so over him, so it ain't even funny. Y'all, I was just sitting here talking to myself. And I honestly can't wait so he could hit support. Because y'all. I'm I'm not I'm not fucking no bull coin. I'm trying to work on me. And I'm not trying to keep getting into it with nobody. I'm not trying to keep arguing with nobody of no bull coin. And that seems like where I'm going. Yeah, I had to get on here and tell y'all that this mess that happened this morning while I was out, it had broke my spirit. And so he called himself walking out the door and he said, because you know his dog over here too. He said, "Why well, be back?" I said, "I don't care, you know." And he said, "I wasn't talking to you anyway." I said, "Go and guard my dog and just leave my uh the uh 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 this uh go and guard my dog." That's what I said. Just go and guard my dog, child, please. That's how he act. He's so like childish. You don't care about nobody feeling, but his own. And y'all, I'm just tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of bullcoin. I'm tired of all of it. Fifty some years old and still act like you too. <sighs> y'all, that's me scratching my own. Shoulder, y'all. If y'all see uh, the lighting is kind of dark, that's because I'm using the lighting for my phone. You know, y'all, because I'm paralyzed and I can't reach the lamp on my dresser, and I forgot to tell him to cut it on. Well, I really glad I didn't tell him to cut it on in case I get through recording with y'all. I may want to take a nap. Because I was going to wait and get on here, but I decided to go and get on here now. You know, it was early and I had missed y'all. I love y'all. <sighs> yeah, I just, I don't, I don't understand it. Because, you know, it hit me so bad and it, and it, and it had made me so angry. I, did, I didn't really know what to do, y'all. I really did. And then, I, I mean, I kind of know that he probably upset because what I said. But at the end of the day, I want to say that I really didn't. No, I, I'm going to say I didn't mean to say. Sometimes I wish. Sometimes I hate I even told you to come over here. I really didn't mean to say that. That's one word I didn't mean to say. But. All the other stuff, y'all, I just so tired. You know, it's just been building up because he just had been doing stuff that really made me upset. And I've been trying to deal with it. And I I, I just can't keep dealing. You understand what I'm saying? Like, he'll be when they're watching movies or something, y'all. And he'll have the phone, his phone up loud. Or you'll be in here asleep. And his alarm go off. He'll let the alarm go off and off and off and go off, go, 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 go. It's just like anything and everything that he does, he does it intentionally and petty. You understand what I'm saying? He don't try to try to fix nothing that he does. But he quit to say he changed and he had. And he's, I, I, it's one thing that I have noticed that my ex still does. And it, I, I can tell y'all, it still irritates me. It irritated me when we were together. My ex still like, if I can be talking to somebody else, he'll jump in the conversation. 
He used to do that a lot. He used to be jumping, uh, like, when I be in the, living with the girls and stuff, he used to jump in the conversation with the girls. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of a relationship my ex, uh, do, me and my ex had. I never jumped in any of the relations. I mean, relationship. I ain't never jumped in any of the conversations that he had with his homeboys. I I never done that. It, it it's just silly. And, and and this is the thing. If I didn't care about my ex, I wouldn't allow him to come over and stay because what he was, he wasn't getting treated right. So, yeah, I, uh, that, I I just had to to make this video in about you know tired of letting people run over you. You know, I'm tired of it. Tired of letting people run over me. I'm tired of it, y'all. I'm tired of letting people run over me, and I'm tired of letting people think that they tired of letting, really I'm. I'm put to you like this. I'm tired of letting people think that they can do me any kind of way, including him. Yeah. You know, I feel like I deserve to be treated with, with some respect. And I feel like I'm not being, getting treated with no respect. And I feel like I'm tired. I really am. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm tired. I feel like I am very tired. And then, you know, he's the type of person is you can't you can't really sit down and talk to him about what's going on. I just I don't understand y'all. I really don't. But I'm going to get off of here for right now. And yeah, I stay prayed up and just enjoy your week. All right. That's it. Thank y'all. That's my phone.